Hi, John here. I'm going to tie a crab pattern for you tonight. Uh, this is a Craig Matthews fly. Uh, it's being put onto a Sakuma hook from Funky Fly Tang. Uh, this little crab pattern was, I believe, invented for Belize. So, thread body as usual, and I'm going to put on some lead eyes. Uh, make a little bump to prevent them from being drawn forward. Uh, do a mixture of axe wraps, however you decide to put on your eyes. Uh, for these larger flies I would nearly always use uh, Flymaster Plus uh, because you can really tug on it and they don't move afterwards. And saying all that, I still glue them, uh, which you'll see on the side. So really firmly button them down. So this is a, an off cut of furry foam, uh, just put a, a point on it to help you tie it in and secure it loosely at the beginning and allow it to follow around the hook shank to be on the underside as you see it now but this will eventually be the back of the crab. this point here we're separating off some rubber legs uh, these are hairline ones a uh, mixture of greens and chartreuse uh, obviously with the barred leg you want to try and insert them at a, a point where the colour matches roughly each side You don't need that many axe wraps in this because this, this is all going to be bonded on on the underside of the, the pattern. So at this point I normally flip it up and put on your back. Uh, try and keep it a little bit facing towards you because it will want to go around the hook shank so just take your time. make sure you can get it to have your hook tied on. So I'm preparing some olive uh, deer hair here and it's going into my stacker. Just trim off the waist, doesn't have to be too particular. Now this is actually the fly pretty much finished with regular techniques. The rest of this is all going to be glues and adhesives.
So I just put a little bit of uh, salt gap on the top. Typically I don't use any varnish on flies with rubber legs. It tends to, uh, chemicals tend to make them break. So pick up your, uh, your UV product, whichever one you choose. This is uh, UV Nonsense. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little tiny dot between the legs, separating them out to look nice and then curing them in position. Uh, and this way you can do each side uh, separately. Uh, sorry if this is a bit hard to see, I have big hands. So I'm just laying them out sort of equidistant. So again, this is now building up a, a sort of a protective base and it also will help the fly to keel correctly up in the water and give that a good cure. Uh, that'll take a while because it's quite thick. Any legs that are misbehaving, just uh, put the fresh bit beneath it. So that's the fly effectively finished for some uh, trimming. I think the legs are a little bit long on one side as well, so that'll probably be chopped too. So that's the completed fly. Uh, to Nick and the boys from uh, Malaysia, see you on the flats in six weeks. Tight lines. <laughs>